Welcome back. It is 644 now on daybreak and new this morning. There's been a lot of doom and gloom surrounding restaurants since the pandemic began from dining restrictions to staffing and supply chain issues. It's tough for them to make it, but yeah. some Western New York favorites are working hard every day to adapt, evolve and even expand. Daybreak's Lauren Hall brings us three Buffalo restaurant pandemic success stories. Been a lot. It's been a roller coaster. But despite the ups and downs of running a restaurant right now, Swan Street Diner in Larkinville is coming off its best summer yet. I have to give props to our staff, the people that work here. There's people that have worked here since we opened four years ago that stuck through all of this. GM Amanda Amico chalks it up to that loyal staff, plus regular customers and innovative safety measures like their new way to wait for a table. People could walk around the neighborhood and get a text or be in their car if they're more comfortable. And with the remote world giving people more flexibility in their schedules, going out for breakfast isn't just for Saturdays and Sundays anymore. You know, every day of the week, has been almost like a weekend day. That combination of a loyal staff and new technology, not to mention plenty of room for outdoor seating, is what helped Breezy Burrito here on the corner of Elmwood and Potomac ride out the first year of the pandemic. In fact, they were so successful that when the restaurant next door became available, they opened a second business. I mean, I grew up above my parents' restaurant, um, which is a Tex-Mex bar and grill. So I just always saw my parents working hard and any challenges that they were faced, they just kind of pivoted. It's that mentality that drove Brianna Breezy Hunter to grind through the curbside pickup and patio only days ultimately to see her Elmwood empire grow. She and her husband Daniel teamed up with partner Corey Moscato to open the Beer Keep in September. It's part bar, part beer store. There's nothing like this on Elmwood with a lot of the different beer stores closing, Village Beer Merchant. We wanted to offer somewhere for people to go that has a more diverse and craft focused selection. It's been wonderful. People come in, they watch the Sabres game. We always have the Bills games on. It's like, we're back. <laughs> And one of downtown Buffalo's newest restaurants is an expansion as well. Well, we are already a takeout establishment on Genesee Street, so it wasn't nothing that we really had to adjust to, just keeping one, everyone safe. Stephen Butler's soul food restaurant, Ike and Bee Gees, has been an east side staple since the 90s. I think that's what, you know, ultimately um, contributed to our success during the pandemic. You know, we, we are already in the line of serving comfort food and, you know, called on Ike and Bee Gees and we served them up. And as of three weeks ago, their second location is up and running in Niagara Square. We find food as a way to put a smile on people's faces, so we took advantage of that. Lauren Hall, Channel 2 News.